Today we're in the brand new Swift Finesse. We're actually the first people to see it in the whole world because it only came off the production line just before Christmas. It was wheeled in here, given a clean, left over the holiday and we were here at 9.30 this morning. But it is in fact a return to a classic two berth design with the modern bells and whistles. The caravan has two single berths full length so you can use them as singles or combine them as a double. To get some background on this small caravan we had a chat with Swift's product director Steve Trussell. We sense the demand uh, for smaller caravans. I think it's in, in response to people wanting to have smaller more economical cars and mm -hmm. Sprite's a, a very popular brand. Um, it, it's a complete caravan but it's a very affordable caravan and it seems entirely logical to us that we should have our smallest caravan in, 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 within that range and, and that's what it's for. We, 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 we see it as a potentially a, a, a very good extension to the range. It isn't a basic caravan, uh, it, it, it's fully equipped um, but the weight is gained basically by, um, by attention to detail on, on, on the construction and, and, and by basically being a smaller caravan. In old money it, it's 12 foot long. The MTPLM, the, the, the maximum weight when the caravan is complete with the diamond pack, is uh, 1073 kilos. Um, and that actually allows it to be towed by um, all but one of the, uh, uh, for example, the Ford uh, Focus and all but one of the, um, of the VW Golfs. In both cases, it's the, uh, the, the, only the 1.480 PS that isn't qualified, if you like, to tow this. This used to be a very popular layout, all brands, all price levels, um, and for some, for some time now, in, in relative terms, it's been out of the market and you've seen most manufacturers uh, over a number of years stop making this layout or make it in one model. Um, but I think there are a lot of owners out there who, who would be happy uh, to trade up to a new model. Um, when, when they see this. It's the return of a classic. It can't, it's not possible to, to claim any originality for the layout. Uh, you simply have to be, because it's a small space, you have to get the execution just right. You know, every, every unit in it has to be the right size and you've got to make sure when you walk in that it feels right and feels spacious. We had a caravan of our own up until about a year or so ago which was exactly the same kind of layout although it was an early 90s design. But we're used to having the two full length bunks and the full width conversion with the central chest of drawers and slat store. I do think it'll be extremely interesting to see what kind of reception the finesse gets on its early outings. It was originally scheduled for launch at the NEC, but when we visited Swift on the 4th of January, they said it would be at the SECC show in Glasgow and at the Manchester show. So if you see it, tell us what you think on the Caravan Channel forum. There are lots of good points about the design. The near side underbed space is completely empty, giving you plenty of room for bedding storage. And both sides have a full length dropping flap so that you can get into the storage from that angle too. The offside space accommodates the electrical box, the battery and the water heater, but there's still a good amount of room left over. The Truma dual fuel heater is under the wardrobe and that's a really good size. The wardrobe also accommodates the fitted status aerial workings and the table stowage. The washroom provides enough space for everything you need. The back end kitchen is well equipped and I think it looks smart with the light coloured work surfaces. There's a good amount of storage space for culinary needs in both overhead and under the sink lockers. In common with all the sprites there's a 107 litre capacity fridge with a good size freezer compartment. 
The general details and finish are smart too, and the overhead lockers are fitted with Swift's very positive catch system. No more concerns about stuff falling out. It's really very nice, it's nicely finished and it's a good looking little caravan. It's one that I think will hit some spots. This and the Eldest 302 I think we'll see quite a revival of nice little two berths that you can tow behind really quite small cars. The pressure is on people to buy small cars at the moment so lots of people are going to want caravans that they can tow behind them.